first of all, I just want to tell you, it's just overwhelming. It is so exciting to see all of you here tonight, so thank you so, so much. But I am excited to tell you about what God is doing in our area. We've begun the process of bringing a Pregnancy Resource Center to O'Neill. A steering committee of Dick and Lois Fitch, Sharon Spencer, Shaylon Ferris, Ross Tomjack, and I have been meeting to pray and explore the need for a center in our area. Some of the reasons that we believe that there is a need for this resource in our area is our distance from pregnancy centers in this part of Nebraska. The closest pregnancy centers or support that is available is Sioux City, Grand Island, or Kearney. Now the closest abortion centers are in Omaha, Lincoln, and Bellevue. Now if a woman from our area decides that she wants to get an abortion, she will need to make travel arrangements, she will need to take days off work, she will need to get a motel room, and after that initial appointment and all the arrangements that she has made, along with the financial commitment that she's made, she's very unlikely to change her mind. She is committed to have that abortion. We would like to be the first line of support in our area before she even makes that trip. What we are considering at this point is providing free pregnancy tests. Now, why would this be so important? Because we want to be the first contact that she has when she finds out those results, whether they're negative or positive. And we want to connect with her quickly, them, quickly in a comfortable and relaxed setting. We want to engage them, and we want to find out what it would take to support them through this pregnancy. What do they need to carry this pregnancy through to the end? We want to be able to provide the resources necessary for both men and women to support this pregnancy or we can refer them to other resources in our area, or refer for an adoption. We even want to offer post-abortion support for both men and women. We also believe that it's important that we have the ability to do an ultrasound. Why? Because it's important that they see the life inside of them. It is estimated that 78% of the women that see an abortion, excuse me, that see an ultrasound of their babies choose not to have an abortion. It is not just a clump of cells as some would have us believe, but it's a living human being. It's a baby. And they need to realize that truth. We are now ready to make this center a reality. We would like to be able to move forward. Now, I would like you to take a look around this room this evening. Just look at the people in this room. What you'll see is people that are younger and older, people from many different denominations, and people from many communities. And we know in order to make this happen, we're going to all have to work together. You see, we may be a rural area, but what we lack in population and resources, we have in heart. We can make up for that. And we also know that in order for us to get anything done, anything important, we need to work together. We have to work together to make anything happen, but that's what we do. We must stand together in unity on behalf of life. We believe that God created all life. We believe that we, human beings, were created in God's image. Therefore, all life, all human life is precious. We do know that human life begins at the moment of conception. This is a scientifically proven fact that is well documented in textbooks of embryology. 
and we believe that abortion ends the life of a living human being. Therefore, we believe that to kill another human being without justification is wrong. Now, if you agree with us, and you want to do something to stand against abortion in our country, then we ask you to join with us. Our vision is for us to stand in unity, in unity for the sanctity of life. Now, how would you get involved? Tonight in your programs, you'll find a card. Please fill out your personal information and indicate how you would like to be involved. We'll be sending out a newsletter to, to keep you updated on the progress of the center. But first of all, please be in prayer. That's the very most important thing that you can do. We will also be adding members to the steering committee. We'll need plenty of help along the way. And once the center is open, we'll need a lot of volunteers to keep it open, to volunteer, to staff it. So if you're ready to donate to this cause tonight, we would like you to make your checks out to Flame, the Flame Ministry, and designate it to the Pregnancy Center. All the money collected here will go directly to the center, and if you decide to donate la later, the address is on the card 